The dark triad personality, psychopathy, narcissism, and Machiavellianism, the three-in-one diagnostic terms psychologists use to describe people who play God, mindlessly, heartlessly, and robotically chewing through everyone in their path. What's up with this personality type? Here's a possibility, starting with the origins of life and ending with dreams of God. Organisms struggle for their own existence, making functional fitted effort to keep themselves integrated. That's four traits. Functional means useful, good, valuable, beneficial for the organism. Fitted means well adapted to circumstances, situation responsive, savvy. Effort means doing work to stay functionally fitted. Integrated means homeostasis, maintaining the internal checks and balances that keep a critter alive. We humans have language, which makes our lives tricky. You've got way more to worry about than a dog does. We're an anxious species, but language also gives us the power to imagine escaping that anxiety. We can picture the idealized state of those four survival qualities. That's God. We imagine God as omnificent, meaning all beneficial, as omniscient, meaning all savvy, and omnipotent, meaning all powerful, able to make any effort. Now, if God is all powerful, can he make a mountain so big he can't move it? If he's all knowing, can he create a puzzle so hard he can't solve it? And what's the deal with evil? If he's all powerful, all knowing, and all beneficial, he should be able to prevent it. The theological answer is God is one. He wouldn't contradict or trick himself. He works in mysterious ways. He's got perfect integrity, no cognitive dissonance. Playing God means acting like we're all good, all-knowing, and all-powerful, which we aren't. We're somnificent, somniscient, and somnipotent. We've got some goodness, knowledge, and power. So how can we play God? With a shell game, I'll call the Asshole Trinity. Since I'm a god, I should win. To win, I should sin. I'm a god since I win. Narcissism is acting like your god, omnificent, all good, and therefore duty bound to be all powerful. Being all powerful is psychopathy, merciless on your mighty mission, free to manipulate everyone. Manipulating everyone is Machiavellianism, all knowing. You've got the dirt on everyone, so you can trick them and win. And when you win, that proves you're like a god. Dark triad personalities declare holy war on everyone in their way. Holy war is an oxymoron. Holy means clean, but war is dirty. No deed too dirty for a god like me. So how do god players handle their nasty god-playing hypocrisy? By whipping out that fourth godly trait, declaring themselves to have perfect integrity. Hypocrite? Not me. I'm like God, eternally right, righteous, and mighty. I work in mysterious ways that would confuse mere mortals like you. Psychologists tend to treat these traits as innate, psychopathy especially, but it's easy to see why people would want to play God. It's so much easier than being human. Holy war is one way to fall into the God-playing habit. When we declare war, we forget our own faults. Feeling righteous, we're steeled for more war. It's a vicious, virtuous cycle, and why people who play God are half the time scorning you for your immorality and half the time laughing at you for caring about morality. Playing God is a feeling thing, having nothing to do with what we claim to believe. Anyone can play God, even atheists. Words become weaponized, just snarling and crowing sounds, bulldozing BS that works if people let us get away with it. And many will. Snarled at, conscientious people tend to back down. God players love that.